So here's today's lesson, lesson 16, entitled From Ratios to Rate. Our I can statement is I can identify the unit rate when presented a ratio. So we should know all of our words that we see in our I can statement, except for maybe these two. Unit rate. That's the only thing that's different today. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what does this unit rate mean and how does it connect to this term of a ratio. So let's go to our first problem. Diet Cola was on sale last week. It cost $10 for every four packs of cola. How much would two packs of cola cost? Well, let's look here. Two packs. I'm going from four to two packs. So I don't know what's my total cost. I'm going to ask myself how to get from four to two. Well, remember with ratios, I'm always multiplying or dividing. In this case, I'm dividing by two. So what do I need to do to this 10? I need to do the exact same thing. I need to divide by two, and I will get five. Let's check our answer. Two dollars, or two packs of soda will cost five dollars. So now let's go to this one. This one, there's a short little typo, so just let me fix it. How much would one pack for cola cost? Well, I know two packs cost five dollars. Now I need to change it to one. So what am I going to do? I need to divide two by two to get this one. And then I need to do the exact same thing to this five. I need to find half of that five. So what is that? Well, let's just do some work down here with fractions. Five divided by two equals and now I need to convert it to a mixed number since it's improper. And I'm going to have this remainder of one. Remember, with fractions, the remainder goes on top. My denominator is how much was in each group, that two. So my answer is two and a half. But since I'm working with money, because I'm working with cost, what is two and a half dollars? Well, it's two dollars and fifty cents. All right, let's check our work. One pack of soda should cost two dollars and fifty cents. All right, let's go to our next one. So here's our vocab terms for today. A rate is a numerical comparison of two quantities. It's also called a ratio. Note that my base word in numerical is number. Yes, it's missing the B. Number is spelled with a B right here. But it's still related to that word number. Numerical, for some reason, we just changed it to numerical without a B. So I want to know, what are my rates? Well, my rates are all the ratios I have up here. They are all rates. Four packs of cola for $10, two packs of cola for $5, one pack for $2.50. So here's my definition for unit rate. It's a ratio in which one of the numbers is one. So I'm going to look up here, which one of my ratios has a one in it? Well, that should be easiest. My very last one. So this is going to be my unit rate. One thing that I do need to know is that my one should always be my denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it. So now my one is my denominator for a unit rate. So let's check. What does this mean? It means $2.50 for one pack of cola. That is my unit rate. Every pack of cola is going to cost $2.50. This is going to be my most useful tool now for working with ratios. If I want to know how much four packs of cola would cost, or 17, all I do is I multiply by 17 on the numerator and denominator. And then that's going to give me how much 17 costs. This is how much one costs. And now to find how much 17 costs, I just multiply by 17. This is going to be a very useful and helpful tool. Okay, let's look at this one. Diego went to Gamerel to buy new video games. Gamerel was going was having a sale, $65 for four games. He bought three games for himself and one game for his friend Daniel. But Diego does not know how much Daniel owes him for the one game. What's the unit price for the video game? Well, first, I see my new vocab word, unit price. And if I look back here, I know unit price means there's a one in part of the ratio. So my first thing is, which one do I want to make one? Should it be the games? or my cost. Well, I want to find out how much one game costs, so that means this is going to be my one. So what I need to do is I need to now figure out how do I get from four to one? What is an equivalent ratio? Well, I divided by four, 
So that's going to mean the exact same thing. I'm going to divide by 4. So let's check. Let's do my work over to the side. So my work is going to be 65 divided by 4. I'm going to get a remainder of 1 again, just like my previous problem. So this 1 is my numerator. This 4 is my denominator. So 16 and a fourth. Well, what is 16? Well, that's $16 easily. What does this fourth mean? It means I have a fourth of a dollar. So what's a fourth of a dollar? Well, that's a quarter. So Diego should charge him $16.25. Now, what if Diego charges him this much? $16.50. What do we know? Well, we know that he should charge him $16.25. If he tries charging him this, he's charging him more. So this is why we need to know our unit rates and unit prices very well. People in real life will try to take advantage of you and say, you don't know how to find out how much one item costs, so I'm going to charge you more for it. So please make sure that you are good with your unit rates because you'll be applying them in real life. You don't want to be like Daniel when Diego comes and he tries to sell you an extra game for extra money. Okay, let's go to our next problem. Four football fans took turns driving distance from New York to Oklahoma to see a big game. Each driver set the cruise control during their portion or part of the trip, enabling them to travel at constant speed. The group changed drivers each time they stopped for gas and recorded their driving times and distance in the table below. So let's just look at this table before we begin. What this is saying is Andre, he drove 208 miles, took him four hours. Then they got out and Matteo was the driver. He drove 456, but he drove eight hours. That's why he drove so much more. Janae, or Janai, drove 300 miles in six hours. Grayson drove 265, and that took him five hours. Let's go to our first problem. What two quantities are being compared? So a ratio, remember, is a comparison of two things. One thing compared to another. So what two things are we comparing here? Well, we are comparing distance and time. If I look at my chart, I have distance and time. Or we could say it's miles and hours. Either one is correct. Okay, so now let's look at our next problem. What is the rate or ratio? Remember, these two words we're going to say are synonymous of the two quantities for Andre's portion of the trip. So it's asking me, what is Andre's ratio? Well, that's easy. It's going to be 208 to 4. No problem there. The hard part comes next. It says, what is his unit rate? Remember, unit rate means one of them has to have a 1 in it. So I'm going to make my hours the 1, because I want to find out how far he gets in 1 hour. How do I get from 4 to 1? Well, I divided by 4. So what do I need to do to my left side? The exact same thing. I divided by 4 here. So I need to divide that 208 by 4. Hopefully you can do it in your head and get 102, I'm sorry, 52. If not, I'll show you your work. Five times four goes into 20. Subtract and I get zero, bring down that eight. Goes in two times with no remainder. So this is going to be 52 to one, or 52 miles per hour. Let's check our work. So you'll notice that ours match up. So his unit rate is what? It's 52 miles per hour. Okay, so now we need to find the unit rate for our other drivers. So let's look here. I'm just going to fill my chart in. 456 for Matteo to 8 hours. Janae is 300 to 6. And Grayson is 265 to 5. So let's check just to make sure before we go on. Good, good, and good. All right, so now what do we have? Well, now we need to find that wonderful thing called a unit rate. So I need to figure out, how am I going to change my hours to one? I want to find out how far they travel in one hour. Well, how did I get from eight to one? I divided by what? I divided by eight. So let's do my work off to the side over here. I have 456 divided by 8. 
8 goes into 45 five times with a remainder of what? With the remainder of five. Bring down the six. Eight goes into 56 seven times. So what do I get when I divide 456 by eight? I get 57. So his unit rate is 57 to one. So let's look at our next one. This one we can easily do in our head. How'd I get from six? Two, one, well, I divided by six. So what do I need to do to 300 divided by six? You should notice it's almost the same thing as six divided by 30. I'm sorry, 30 divided by six, which is five. And then I just add that zero back on. So, Janae's is 50 miles per one hour. Okay, now let's look at our very last one. How did I get from 5 to 1. Well, I divide it by 5. So I need to do the exact same thing to the top. I need to divide that by 5. So 265 divided by 5 goes in 5 times with a leftover of 1. And I bring down that 5. And that goes in 3 times. So she drove 53 miles per 1 hour. So here are all my rates and their associated unit rate. Okay, let's look at our next one. Publishing company is looking for, a, for new employees to type novels that will soon be 45 words per minute. Jose Martinez discovered that he can type at a constant rate of 704 words in 16 minutes. Does Jose Martinez type fast enough, type at a fast enough rate to qualify for the job? Explain why or why not. What I wanna do is I have to find the unit rate. That's actually what it's telling me to do right here. 45 words per minute. So I need to compare how fast Jose types per minute to this expectation of 45. So what do I need to do? Well, I'm at 16 minutes, and I need to make that what? I need to make that into a one. So how do I get 16 into one? Well, I'm going to divide by 16. So I need to do the exact same thing up to 704. I'm going to divide by 16. Now I know you're going to say, Mr. Wimble, that one's hard. It's not hard for sixth grade. So you're just going to have to work through it. Okay, so 16 goes into 70. How many times? I'm just going to pick a number. I'm going to guess five. It is okay if you guess and you have to erase your work. Five times six, that's zero. Carry the three and it says it's 80. Can I subtract 80 from 70? I can't. So what that means is yes, I have to go back and erase my work. So now let's try a number slightly smaller. Let's try four. That's going to be 24, carry the two. Then four times one is four plus two is 64. Subtract, bring down the six, bring down that four. And I know it's gonna be four times again because that number matches what I just had. So how fast does Jose type? He types 44 words in one minute. So what do I know? Well, I know that he's not going to get the job. He can only type what? He can only type 44 words a minute Oops, I had a typo here again too. He can only type 44 words a minute, but how fast does he type? He needs to type 45. So unfortunately, if this publishing company is really strict on what they say, he won't be able to take the job, so we better get practicing. Okay, so your exit ticket is this. Mrs. Collin enjoys swimming and often swims at a steady pace to burn calories. At this pace, Mrs. Collin can swim 1,700 meters in 40 minutes. What is Mrs. Collins' unit rate? All right, what you're going to do is you're going to answer this question on Socrative. And then when you are done, you're going to go on to lesson 17. You have two lessons today since we didn't finish this yesterday. We're going to go on to lesson 17 next. All right. Good luck on your exit ticket and then head to lesson 17.